Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the DS1621XS Plus and we're going to do a Steam gaming test. We're going to be running a game from my laptop here with all of the game data being on this NAS. Now a few disclaimers straight off the bat. First and foremost there is a lot of kit on this table. So I've got my microphone a lot closer than I would normally have it. I'd normally have it on a little suspended kind of arm thing just above you there. But because I'm going to be talking to this quite a lot, I think it would be a lot easier to just have this mic closer. Also, we've got my gaming laptop here that's going to be quite noisy, and we have the new 1621XS Plus from Synology, which is a 10 GBE and NVMe SSD equipped NAS, but this device has got more enterprise grade hard drives inside. It's got Ultrastar 10 TBs, consequently it will make a bit more noise. So throughout this video, there's gonna be the fans kicking in on the GPU card in this laptop, and there's going to be the clicks and whirs and the hums. If you listen, it's there in the background of some of that media, so do bear that in mind. I don't recommend generally, if you're gonna be in such close proximity with a NAS like this, to use such enterprise class drives, but I've got these in here from a previous test, so I thought I'd leave them in there. Those are 7200 RPM, 256 megabyte cache drives, so it will be making that kind of vibration noise. You can see, it's vibrating off the table there, there's a lot going on. So again, the actual gaming portion of this happens at the end of the video, so by all means fast forward. But I'm just going to talk you guys through my setup first. I'm going to flick over to this screen now and talk you through the entire setup. So let's make our way over to the screen. Click. And you can see here on screen, I've already done some of the initial testing. Just going to move the mic in place there. I've already done a few 10GB tests in the background. As you can see, sometimes it got quite high up there. Uh, in terms of the megabytes per second data handled across those different network ports. And again, there are multiple network ports on this Synology NAS, but I'm monitoring particularly the 10 GBE port. Now, if we move along, we can take a good look at the, the NAS itself. As mentioned, we are utilizing the DS1621XS Plus. I'm sure right now, because I'm looking at screen, I'm not quite looking at you guys on camera. If I angle that round, we might be able to actually see each other a little better. And on here, we can have a look at the information on this NAS. So as you can see, it's the 1621XS Plus. You can see they're on screen. It's got um, just, I've got it down to eight gig of memory. I've switched it back to the default settings for this NAS. Um, and if we go into the storage manager, we can have some idea about the drives that we're talking about. And again, as mentioned, this is a RAID 6. So I've got um, six of these 10 TB WDE drives. And I haven't engaged the cache. That's for another video where we're going to look at the benefits of caching. But that is the NAS we are dealing with. Now, I'm not going to look at the CPU or the memory utilization of this NAS. I will, on the other hand, have the CPU, memory, disk, and Ethernet utilization of this PC in real time. So this will tell us how much of the GPU is being utilized by different things. It will talk to, about the Ethernet, and this is the one we want to pay attention to. Um, and on top of that, we want to make sure that these two settings here for the D drive and the C drive are low. Because what we've done, if we switch over to Steam, is the game we're going to be playing is Destiny 2. And we've got that running there, which is going to stop the game there in the background. I'm going to stop it there. Then, if we go into the settings menu, we're going to be able to see, let's go into the settings, that I have made sure that this game is running the Steam library, not from my local machine. As you see there, that's zero bytes. Um, and we have got 98 gig, that is the game Destiny 2, on this folder, the S drive. And if we go into the My Computer settings here, we're able to see that the S drive is that shared drive on the Synology. It is a mounted drive that I've done there with a the network. And if you ever want to do this for yourself, just use the Synology Finding tool. Right click, go to map drive, and you can add the drive very, very easily there. There are other ways to do it using Synology's own drive software and a bunch of other stuff, but that's just the way I'm using it for this video. Um, so we've got that map network drive. If we go back into the Synology, we can see if we go into file manager, uh, if we go to the file station even, uh, even, we go to the shared drive, there's the Steam library, there is all of our data for the game. It's all inside there. So now you know the setup. 
you know that we're running the 10 GBE NAS, you run, you know the game we're going to be running. So I think what's there left to do but to go ahead and play the game. So let's go inside. We're going to go click play here. I'm just going to make sure I'm still screen recording, which I am. Uh, and then we're going to click play. Uh, there is going to be a login screen. I am going to skip forward ever so slightly so I don't really want to reveal my login information to you guys. Um, but while that's going on, we're going to minimize that screen there. Uh, we're going to make sure on all times while this game is playing that we're going to have both the network monitor here on screen. We're going to run the game in windowed mode. You can hear the fans um, over my GPU start to kick in. And you're going to see this information here. As you can see, the game's already starting to load. You're going to see the Ethernet utilization here. And remember, what we want to see is disk utilization to be incredibly low. We are going to be creating data because we are using screen recording software, but it's going to be very, very minimal. What we want to see is the ethernet spikes because this will be when the game is running all of its data files from the NAS to play the game. And th the whole point of this video is to show you guys the advantages of these enormous amounts of data that are um, that these games are made of these days. Uh, Destiny 2 is, you know, a couple of years old, I believe now. But even this game had an enormous amount of data at initial install. And NVMEs being what they are in terms of price, you can get some good speeds here. I'm also utilizing as the network, if we go into the network connections area, you'll be able to see I'm um, using a solo 10G Thunderbolt 3 edition. Now, there are way that is a Thunderbolt to 10GB adapter, and that 10G adapter is running all the way into the rear of this NAS. Um, on top of that, there are ways you can improve it, um, the performance, and I've not enabled a lot of these today just because I want to keep things default. But if, uh, for a future video, if you do want to improve the performance, you can go to this option here, Jumbo Packet, and open it up to 9000. Just make sure that you do exactly the same thing on the Synology NAS as well. So going into the Synology NAS, going into Control Panel. From there, going into uh, Network uh, Options, select the Network Interface. As you can see, LAN 1, which is the 10G enabled one. You can change Jumbo Frames. It's set to 9000 by default um, at the moment. So make sure both of those are at 9000, both on the local machine and here. That's a little tip for the future, but I won't do that today. But let's bring all of those options back on screen, and I'm going to go ahead and log into the game. So I am going to skip forward the tiniest bit to log into the game so you don't see my information, and we'll make our way into the default title screen of this game. So we're at the title screen now. We can go ahead and log in with this default character here. This should go straight into the opening cinematic. Um, it's worth highlighting that if right now I've muted my laptop so I can hear this, but there might be audio playing in the background, so I apologize in advance if the screen recording software has captured that audio there in the background. Uh, the game there is loading up. We've got that initial cutscene there on screen. We're going to go ahead and skip that cutscene, and we're just going to go straight into the game. Let's get the WAS set up, and I'll be honest, anyone that's ever tried to do gaming on a laptop setup, this is pretty pants. I've got to say I hate using a touchpad for gaming. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roam the game. Actually, before I do anything, let's double check that the audio settings uh, are set correctly. Let's go to sound. Everything seemingly is set to zero. So let's go ahead and make our way into the game. And remember, the thing that we want to be looking at is the Ethernet, um, at how much data is being consumed over the Ethernet while this game is running in real time. And we want to make sure that the SSD uh, in uh, disk 0 and disk 1 are utilized at a very, very minimal degree. The screen recording software is likely going to use a lot of that. But I'm just going to sort of pace through this game nice and quick to try and get a lot of those digital assets loaded up within the game. Once again, I'm sorry I'm not really making eye contact with that camera there on the laptop. Um, and again... Never played this game on uh, a PC. I've always played this game on a console. So again, we might see me absolutely failing massively here. Um, let's have a look there. Let's have a look. Move around. Oh, I haven't played this game for a while. Also, it doesn't help. I've got the game muted. So for all I know, I've got prompts on screen that I can't hear. 
what we want is a nice straight walking section to build up those assets as much as possible let's have a look it look like we've got some stuff here we can load up from um, and again I'm not really paying attention to the bottom left of the screen there let's have a look um, and again I'm using a touchpad which always sucks when it comes to gaming um, should really have knocked out a mouse for this uh, the game from my point of view is seemingly running quite well um, although I would add that um, I am paying attention a lot more to what I can see on screen there man touchscreen gaming is the worst uh, touchpad gaming is the worst isn't it um, alright let's go here you can tell why I don't do twitch can't you So have a look, touchpad, so have a look. Kind of wish I'd rem assigned melee to one of the control buttons. Man, touchpad. Anyway, cool. Um, at the moment, the game is seemingly running just as well as I would like. I mean, obviously I am running it in windowed mode, which does make all of a difference. Because in windowed mode, of course, the graphics are going to be a little bit more rescinded and there's a lot more work for the CPU to be going on hopefully none of this is affecting the frames per second of the screen recording you guys have got there but from what I understand this game is still running quite well indeed let's get that grenade there and you know what let's go ahead and just peg it let's run just through I mean I doubt my character is going to survive that long anyway but what we want to do is just see how far we can take this. Now, from what I'm seeing there, based on the report, we're seeing those spikes every time new assets get loaded into the game. But that's about it. It's still good that the game is running. And as you can see on screen there, we aren't running from the internal SSD. This is all happening from the NAS itself. This is all happening with all of the data files for this game living in the NAS. Again, I was only going to try this game because I am going to try some other games for another video coming soon. Uh, mainly I was going to look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare because that obviously is a far more popular game than Destiny right now. However, that game does not utilize Steam. It's a standalone um, installation. I believe, it, I'm not sure if it uses Blizzard. I have to remember. I know there was one of them that was using Blizzard. So consequently, I wasn't able to do that video test. But as you can see, we'll let my character die there, and I'm going to leave it there. But I hope this has given you some idea about gaming on 10GBE. This is not designed to be a full breakdown. This was just a bench test of two things. Steam, uh, of a more up-to-date game over 10GBE. And of course, trying out the new DS1621 XS Plus over 10G. We've done a, a test so far with photo and video editing. We've done a general speed test, virtual machine tests, and now we've done our Steam gaming test. Do stay tuned for a follow-up where we will be looking at a lot more intense gaming experiences on 10GBE NASes and comparing each of these brands. Also seeing whether a Xeon-based NAS is even necessary because there's a good chance you don't even need a Xeon NAS to get this kind of performance. But thank you so much for watching. Click like if you've enjoyed the video. Click subscribe to learn more. And I will see you next time.